Okay, I think I go up here and then to the right to speak with Hanu. Alright, let's meet my future husband. Nalaya. Oh, that's, um, Hanu's sister, right? You've vaguely heard that Hanu has a grown sister, but she's always kept to herself and her peasant husband, and you've never spoken to her. And yet you get the sense she doesn't like you. Okay, well I guess I'm not gonna have any leverage with her. Let's try. Oh god, yeah, she's hostile. Uh, she has a fair amount of respect for me, but she's hostile and... Well, that's about it. Doesn't fear me. Oh, it's you. Look, as far as I'm concerned, my husband's family is the only family I've got. Don't think I'm gonna be your big sister just because my brother has to marry you. <laughs> I could be defiant. Huh. Is she a tough one? Would she like that? You're really more like the infection that sets in after a wild dog bites your ankle. I like that. But that might be a very stupid thing to say. <sighs> Let's try being agreeable. Let's see what happens. Glad we got that out of the way. You didn't come to me for something, did you? Hmm, do I want to just, uh, be direct? She doesn't like me, obviously. So maybe being direct would be the best thing. I thought you could help me out. I don't want to be your sister, either. And if you could convince your father to break off the betrothal... No, I can't help you. Not if I wanted to. Has anyone ever told you that it's the woman's place to run the house? It's a saying that's been around as long as men have had power over everything else because the rea reality is too depressing for us to handle. The moment a man gets an idea into his head that he wants to do something with your house and your children, you see how fast he takes the power back from you. My mother learned that the hard way. I was a girl then, and it's not a lesson I'm ever going to forget. Jesus. My father blew more than his family had on investments he wasn't half smart enough to manage. We're carrying the sort of debt that takes bread out of your mouth for the rest of your life. What do you think we're living out here? Except, if we just get this fat sack of coins, like the dowry only your father with his little side business has the money for, uh, that just might solve all of our problems without needing any of us to be cleverer or more virtuous than we actually are. Okay, so you just want the dowry. Gotcha. So that's why they're willing to consent to it. They just want the money. Well, I mean... They just want the money. They're in debt. My parents are thinking that maybe I'm going to end up being... You know, kind of wealthy, right? Or at least pretty well off. Because they are a merchant caste. But they're in debt. There, there's no money there. They won't be any more wealthy than my father obviously already is if he can afford the dowry. Hmm. But nobody's happy about it. A father's paranoid that your family doesn't even have the money. And I think on some level, his pride wants it to be so. A peasant bailing him out. That's almost too much for him to stomach. God, nobody's happy. It's a bad situation. <laughs> I can just be very direct. What if the money was stolen? Um, that sounds dangerous. That sounds very dangerous. Jesus. I have to be careful here with my decisions. We've seen in the past. My decisions have a lot of weight. They're not just... meaningless. These things matter.
Let's be agreeable. I guess I hadn't realized how important this was to your family. Well, it's not my problem. None of this is my problem. Now go away and let me get back to work. Yeah, there's nothing to... nothing to work over there. Hanu's mother. Please, just go talk to my son. I try to make it work. Okay, she's... oh, she's very hostile. And even a bit afraid of me. What are you doing here? It's my son you're marrying, not me. I don't want to talk to you. God, they hate me. Look at this. I need to talk to you. What do I want to talk to him about, though? Like, really, what... What could I possibly say to him that would solve anything? I don't know where that's leading, but let's try it. Be that as it may, I need to talk to you. Nothing to talk about. You're marrying my son. You ain't thinking of doing something clever, are you? Because I promise you, you'll wish you hadn't. Is that a threat? I thought I told you to go away. I've got work to do, girl. And I won't waste my day talking to you. There's no fucking way I'm marrying this guy. There is no fucking way I'm marrying this guy. You? Don't tell me you're Tanya. Look at this. He has contempt for me. And he's hostile. You sound so disappointed. I don't care what he thinks of me. He already thinks I'm a piece of shit. Not even fit for walking upon with his shoes. I can't believe this. You're not merchant cast. You're not a family friend. You're not even pretty. Why is my father doing this to me? You know, I have a mind to punch you in the... Fucking... Okay. He doesn't want to marry me. Good. I don't want to marry him. So, maybe in our mutual hatred of each other, we can come to a deal. I know. I'm not eager about this either. Did you just tell me to shut up? I'm having a lot of trouble. Remaining, uh, keeping a cool head here. Shut up. You've got nothing to be upset about. You're marrying up. Half the girls in the village would die to marry me, and I'm stuck with you instead. You should be thanking my parents on your hands and knees. I'm going to ignore the fact that he just told me to shut up. And I'm going to see if we can come to an agreement. If you're not happy, chances are I won't be happy. Just leave me alone. If this is going to be the rest of my life, let me spend my last few days in peace. Here, take this. My mother told me to give it to you as a wedding present. Well, shit. What did you give me? Is it a knife? Is it a knife I could stab you with? Peasant necklace. A battered old handmade necklace, well-worn, well-loved. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe I can sell it. He won't talk to me, will he? Nope. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. I guess I'm gonna go speak with, uh, Juhai. Or Juhi. Is it well, how's it pronounced? Juhi? I think it's Juhi. I think it's Juhi. Not quite sure. Hmm. 
see if I can sell this necklace. Mm, not to the Naga merchant. Whoa, it lists my dowry here. Which seems to imply that I can steal it. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, that was one of the dialogue options, the possibility of stealing it. Did you talk to Hanu? He's terrible, isn't he? Can you imagine spending your life with him? Who knows what he's capable of? I agree. You're right. I've got to find a way out of this. Come on, think. There's got to be something you can do. Well, um, there is what that one guy told me, the stranger. I really don't want to steal, but... <laughs> huh. I guess I could just run away. Yes, yes! You could steal a horse and get out of here! Tanya, I can't believe we've never thought of... Don't you see? We can both get out of here! You and me, tonight! For good! Oh god, this is gonna go horribly! Oh no... We're gonna be caught and, like, fucking whipped or something. I don't even know if they whip people as a sort of punishment, but... The, I don't know. Hmm... <laughs> ah... I kinda wanna see if there's a better way. A less dangerous way. Uh, what would be the less dangerous way, though? Like, I'm wondering if I can just tell my parents about the fact that they're poor. Like, do they know that the people that they're marrying are poor? Maybe they don't care. Maybe they just want me to move up and, you know, in the caste system. Maybe the money doesn't even matter. I mean, they did say they just want the best for their daughter. Maybe that's all they care about is just that I move up. And have a better life than them. I mean, that's what all parents want. Well, all good parents, right? Is uh, for their for their children to have a better life than they had. You know, live longer, live happier. Well, if I was with Hanu, I would probably live longer. I can't say I would live happier, though. Hmm. This is really, really, really hard. I don't know. I don't know. I, d I don't know. It's really dangerous. Dear God, is it dangerous? I just want to know if I can change my mind afterwards, though. Like, I want to try my other options first, but maybe I, I am going to want to do that. Like, can I come back? And say, you know, you're right, let's do it? I don't know. Um... I guess I'm going to... Be agreeable? Alright. Slow down, Juhi. If, and I mean if, we both did that, we need supplies. I can steal some stuff from my household. But you're right, we could use money. Do you know where the dowry is kept? Oh, it's in Laxmi's house. Oh, God. <laughs> how, how in the hell am I going to get it? Yeah, it's kept up in Laxmi's house in her vaults. The guard's a moron. 
You should be able to blow pa right past him if we can whip up even a thick ruse. Anyway, whenever you're ready, go get things staged in the stables. You can get me when night falls. Good luck. God, I'm actually going to do this? Wait, it's just my uncle is being here. Where's my uncle? What? And where's why is Juhi not listed on the map? I think the map bugged out. Hmm. Let's see if I can say anything new to my parents. Tanya, I've spoken with Hanu myself. I know he isn't the gentlest soul, or the kindest. Don't tell anyone I said this, but the plain truth is he's, is he's not half as smart as you are, either. But a wise man once said, There's no such thing as a fair marriage, and in my eyes, there's not a single boy in this village worthy of you. At least Hanu's birth will give you opportunities. Do you really think this is a good idea? I do. I think if a clever girl like you and a willful boy like Hanu can't make a life out of a merchant caste standing, no one can. You're smarter than a lot of people give you credit for. You know how to use the power you've got. Marriage gives a woman a certain kind of leverage. In time, you'll see what I mean. I promise. I don't think so. Hey, mother. Anything to add to the conversation? You've spoken with Hanu? Are you ready to accept the marriage? Okay, yes, I can tell him the fact that Hanu's family is broke. Okay, let's try this. Mother, I've been looking into things. Hanu's family is broke. They're using us. Of course you didn't like that. I don't really care. You mean to tell me you've been prying into their family's affairs? Tanya, I know we raised you better than that. This will be my affair soon enough. How is Hanu supposed to help me if his family is broke? It was never about Hanu's family being wealthy. You don't think we know they've been through hard times? We're not fools. It was never our plan to marry you into a life of instant luxury. It was our plan to marry you into some opportunity. Are you ready to take advantage of that? Or do you plan to throw a tantrum? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. It's not about the money, it's just about my cast. I, uh, need to think about this. Take what time you need, but know that whatever you do, the outcome will be the same. Oh no, it won't. Oh no, it won't. Okay, so where do I need to go to initiate all of this? Do I have to steal the dowry right now? Make some sort of a ruse? But Laxmi's right there. <laughs> Does it have something to do with the peacock? Can I even like can I like use items on on items? Hmm. So uh, talk to the guard. Okay, hmm, I guess I won't be getting by this way. I think maybe I need to go to the stables first and then come at night or something. Let's go to the stables.
Well, okay, wait. Flee the village alone with no supplies. Flee the village with Juhi and no supplies. Okay, so I do need to get the supplies first. Ah. Uh... Okay, um, let me talk to the merchant. Wait, where's the merchant? Oh, merchant's all the way over here. So that means I do have to get the... the dowry first? I don't quite get how this works. Click, click on... There we go. Nah, I can't do anything with it. Okay, uh... I could also try going to the city. Can you smuggle me in? Some advice for you, human. Sometimes all you need is the thrill of a new opportunity, the promise of a new scene, and a grander lifestyle. You never know just how beautiful safety is until you've thrown it away. I don't know if I believe in miserable safety as a lifestyle. Your life, your decision. But I can't take you with me. The risks are too great, and the benefit non-existent. You are a merchant. Practical to the end. Understandable. If I leave with no supplies, am I just gonna, like, starve to death or something? I don't get it though, how can I make a ruse? I mean, I can't, like, it doesn't seem like I can do anything, like, I can't use inventory items? From what I can tell? Oh, wait a minute. I never talked to you. Payal. Hello. Wait, there's a wary guard. Oh, that's a back entrance! Okay, hold on, this is the place I missed. Fissured rocks. Okay, this is it. Okay, okay, okay. Tanya, Tanya! I read the poem you gave me. I mean, there's a word here and there I didn't get, but... Laxmi never said we weren't allowed to learn reading, but better be safe than sorry. Oh my god! Better safe than sorry. Learning reading. Laxmi actually might not like it that they're learning reading. Wow, keep your people ignorant, keep them in line. That is sick. You know, I might not be around to teach you everything. You'll have to find someone else who knows how to read. You're getting married. I want to get married. I can't wait to find out who my husband is. You know, I don't think I've ever really felt that way. Do you think that's weird? I guess Juhi said she doesn't, but all the other girls I know do. Marrying is fun. You get kids to boss around and you get to run a house. But do you actually want a husband? Or just everything that comes with one? I don't know. Who told you running a house was fun? Did they run a house? And did they have a choice in the matter? Are you okay? No, I'm not. I don't understand what you're talking about, but I don't want you to be sad. Can you feel better? Yeah, okay, <laughs> this is already... <laughs> this conversation with this uh, kid has already gotten a little bit too deep, way too deep. For them to understand. Uh, you know what? I think I can. Thanks, Payal. Aw, she hugged me. 
All right. I can't do anything with it? Apparently my option to leave is approachable, as it says. It wait, is approachable to leave. That what? That's okay. Um right. Okay, so how does this work? Like, it seems like I can't do anything. Double patrol duty at this hour. And you peasants think you've got a real hard job. Okay. Lovely speaking with you. That goes down to nowhere, I guess? Nope. I feel like I haven't been down here. But, yeah, I obviously have. Oh, I can just... I can keep going? Wait, what? Okay. There we go, Laxmi's guard. Oh god, there's a lot of guards here. There's my dowry. It's just a wait. This is I thought it was supposed to be in her vault. It's just a sack of coin, out in the yard. Uh, what? Okay. Um. Whoa. I don't see any. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, it seems like there's nothing I can do except talk to the guard. What are you doing here? You know you're not allowed in your Laxmi's estate. <laughs> wow. Look, I'm here to steal my dowry back. Let me through and I'll cut you in. That sounds like a terrible idea. He's disgusted with me, has contempt, and is unconcerned. I really don't think he's going to be down for it. Well, he said the guard is dumb and any ruse will do, right? So, I'm here to pick up her laundry. You lying to me, because if you're lying to one of her guards, and then you trespass on her property, I promise that Laxmi is going to kill you. It'd be the funniest thing that's happened here for months. I'm not lying. I'm here to do laundry. Alright, whatever. Just go in. <laughs> oh my god, he is an idiot. Okay, sweet. Uh, okay, aren't they going to notice if I take this stuff? Uh, you know, I don't even want to take my dowry. I mean, that's like my family's... If I'm going to leave, the marriage isn't going to happen, right? Ob obviously, because I won't be here to marry anyone. If I steal my dowry, I I'm basically just taking my family's savings, and that's that's horrible. Laxmi is rich, and also a piece of shit, so I wouldn't be... I wouldn't feel bad about taking her heaped valuables. But, uh, hold on, let me see if I need, it like, a distraction or something. Oh, what are you doing back here? Get out now. What the... I can't believe one of you dirt gruppers is actually tr trying something. Boys gr What the fuck? Wait, what? He just let me in. Are you kidding me? Uh... Okay. I guess they didn't get the message. Um, excuse me, Laxmi's guard. Weren't you supposed to, like, radio them and say, Hey, she's doing laundry. God, is it going to work a second time? Really? Are you fucking kidding me? That is stupid. Okay. Wow. He just let me pass, and yet they... didn't notice that he let me pass, and throw me out, and then I can't go back in. I suddenly wish I didn't have this on Iron Man mode because I would absolutely load my save because that is just dumb. It wasn't clear whether they were even looking my way or not, whether I could steal the help uh, heaped valuables and they wouldn't even notice. That's why I went talking to them because I wanted to see, you know, if I could like distract them or something. I mean, shit, it looks like he's fucking looking at the heaped valuables. He's looking like to the left and they're kind of looking like towards the screen and to the left, like, it's not even clear where people are looking. 
wouldn't Laxmi's guard have noticed if I just took up the heap of valuables? That's what I was thinking I had to do something. Okay. I'm sorry, that's really dumb. Like, I was really invested in the story, and I still am to some degree, but that just kind of, like, ruined my immersion into the story. That just feels badly designed. Okay, um, I guess I'm stealing supplies. Or, well, shit, can I just buy supplies? I've got some money. Okay, looking for travel supplies? Could be. Gestures to his stock, smiling warmly. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't say how many things I can buy, though. I think I've got three coins, so does that mean I can buy three things? Well, um, it's all pretty much important, but I'm going to say that we can't really do much. We can't really do much if we don't know where we're going, so let's go for maps. All right. And these should do the job. This is a fine parchment. I can't let it go for less than five coins. Ah, fuck. A little short. Don't let it bother you. Come back with a coin any time, and we'll do business. Perhaps something less expensive? Uh, dried meat. Two coins. Okay. Now I'm poor. Wonderful. Betting? Two coins? Oh. Can't I just sell the damn peasant necklace? We've even got Naga currency. I don't suppose um, I can trade in my Naga currency for normal monies? Like, what the hell are my options now? I could marry Hanu. Uh, it doesn't seem like I can sell anything. Everything is just a bust at Laxmi's estate. Is there any way of getting more money? Like, I think to get more money, I need the bag of heaped valuables. I was probably going to trade them for supplies or something. Shit. I, th I think that's all I can do. I can't think of anything else. Is there anyone who would take my... Naga currency? The guard by the east side of Laxmi's estate isn't too bright and has a few gambling problems. She really knows how to pick winners. Gambling problems? That never came up in the conversation. But wait a minute, what? What the hell is the, the rock thing about? Like, there's the fissured rock. What is that? How come I can't do anything with it? What is that meant for? Yeah, this thing. What, what is this? What? This just got so confusing. Like, I have Naga currency, but it seems useless. I have a peasant necklace, and yet I can't seem to sell it, even to the merchant. I, what do I do with the Naga currency? There's this fissured rock, and I don't know what to do with it. And like, what? I, I, what do I even do now? Do I just leave with, like, no supplies? Do I just talk to everybody and hope they give me some sort of an option involving the currency and stuff? Anyone want some Naga currency? I think I just leave at this point. Denied from the stables, okay. 
This is gonna go horribly. I've got like the least amount of supplies possible. And of all the things I could have bought, I only have food. Hmm. You know, Tanya, I didn't much like the man I was arranged to marry either. I thought he was a vile bastard who wouldn't have a... who wouldn't know gentleness if it bit him on the ankle. I cried every night for a week before we were married. And you know what happened? He died of bowel disease after 10 years, and I've been free ever since. Oh, that's uplifting. You wouldn't happen to know how he got it, would you? Maybe a certain kind of diet? If I knew how to do it, I wouldn't tell you. I don't want to give a clever girl like you that many opportunities to cause trouble. Listen, when you're a wife, and you'll uh, when you're a wife, you'll have a little power, and when you're a mother, you'll have someone else's life to manage. Right now, you've got nothing. Might as well bear it smiling. What if I didn't? What if I just did whatever I wanted to do and let everyone else deal with it? You know, I saw a girl do something very like that once. She was betrothed to this boy. She didn't like him. The details didn't matter. Nobody really asked why she didn't want him, and I dare say nobody cared. You have to understand that when the other parents call off the marriage, everyone starts wondering if the girl's not so good after all. It's a stain on her record. can kind of uh, give a hint about what my plans are. Alright, so what if I just stole a horse and rode for the hills? What then? Oh, that'd be a different story. Laxmi would have you dragged back and tortured to death. You really think she's gonna put up with a disobedient, fleeing, horse-stealing peasant when half the farms of Behemer are in revolt? She might as well give away her furniture and put her, uh, put her own home to the torch. Tanya, I understand you're upset, but please... Whatever you do, think it through. This is the rest of your life you have to think about. God damn it. I have to marry him. I have to marry him. The village would certainly think it was strange, and probably my family wouldn't be able to look me in the eye again. I have to fucking marry him. All my attempts at getting supplies have yielded practically nothing. I don't have enough to even make a decent attempt at it. I'm probably just gonna end up ruining... ruining my life as well as Juhi's. God damn it. I'm gonna marry him. Okay. I don't know if you mean that, but I'm glad to hear it. I know this wasn't easy for you, and I know you're worried about your marriage, but believe me when I say, that's just the way things are. You'll come around, in time. <sighs> it was the easiest thing to do. It might turn out to have been the safest thing to do. It might even be the right thing to do. You are Tanya, a peasant girl, 15 years old. You were born in this village. How you die has yet to be determined. I got the dutiful trait. Which is not the one I wanted. I didn't want to be dutiful, but... Honestly? With only meager provisions? I think I may very well have gotten myself and my best friend killed. Or... At least maybe resigned us to a... A horrible life.
That is not how I wanted that to end up. And I honestly regret putting it in Iron Man mode now, because uh, I was trusting the game to be, well... ...reasonable and straightforward. And I feel like it failed. I feel like that was really cheap how that worked out, the whole thing with Laxmi's estate. I mean, I guess it was a simple, you just walk in there and take everything, but it didn't make any sense, because it looked like the cards were, like, looking at you or something. That, oh, that's just... no. Oh. I'm really sad how poorly designed that encounter was, because it kind of ruined it. Damn it! It's kind of sad, because before that, uh, this whole... This whole storyline with Tanya was, I think, the strongest. Like, I, I felt like it was a lot stronger than the very beginning of the game. The first scene with, uh, mostly with the Naga. I mean, I thought that was pretty good, but I felt like this was a lot stronger. I felt more invested in the character. In the, the characters. Especially uh, Tanya and her best friend. So I'm sad that it kind of felt ruined by the end. I'm still really enjoying it. I mean, there's a lot here. And there's a lot of character depth, and uh, I feel like my decisions really, really matter. Like, they have so much weight to them, and they're so... Uh, gray. You know, gray, gray area decisions. Which I really like. They're hard to make. I mean, if these, if these decisions were easy to make, then that means there's... There's something wrong, because these shouldn't be easy decisions to make. Or I'm deciding the fate of a 15-year-old girl. The fate of the entire rest of her life. That, that is a very serious thing to have in your hands. And I thought the writing is just really strong. You know, I could feel that. I could feel that, that weight and that responsibility. So, a bit of a hiccup there, but... Uh, nonetheless, I think that was a very, very strong sort of... I don't know what you call each of these, I guess, scenes? Uh, set pieces? Whatever you want to call them. Where you kind of play as a character and then see the summary. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon to discover whatever is in store for us next.